I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting excellent questions. Your contributions have made our channel the best. Here is an excellent question from one of our subscribers and I hope its solution will help many others. The question here is, the dial on a three number combination lock contains markings to represent the numbers from 0 to 59. How many combinations are possible in which the first and second numbers differ by at least three? You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So let's begin with the three numbered combination log. Let's say these are the positions for the three numbers. We are actually given one restriction here, and the restriction is that we have to use numbers from 0 to 59, and the restriction for these numbers is that the second number differs by at least 3, first and second numbers, right? So, so you are looking into these two numbers, and their difference is at least by Three, right so if I put let's say 5 here the number which can come there will be 5 plus 3 which is 8 or it could be on the lower side 5 minus 3 which is 2 right so that is how you're going to work out the numbers and that will give you total number of combinations is that correct so based on this we will actually begin with number 0 and look into all the possibilities. So if I place 0 in the first position, then in the second position, I cannot place 0, 1 and 2, but I can place all of the numbers, right? So here, I cannot place 0, 1 and 2 cannot be placed. In position number 2 right now 0 to 59 means we have total 60 numbers and remember the last position has no restriction so in the last position we can always place 60 that is not a problem the restriction is only here now out of 60 numbers which we have we cannot place 3 that means we can place 57 right we can place any number from 3 to 59 which gives us 57 numbers right okay now let's see what happens when I place 1 here when I place 1 here this number has to have a difference of at least 3 so I cannot place 0 I cannot place 1 I cannot place 2 I cannot place 3 right I can place 4 here right so these are the four numbers which are excluded from the second position. We are writing here numbers excluded from second position. Is that clear to you? Right. So what we notice here that now when I start with 1, I have to exclude 4 numbers out of 60. That means I can place 56 numbers. And on the last position, I can place all 60, no problems. Now, when we start with 2, in that case, the restriction says that I cannot place 0, I cannot place 1, 2, 3, and even 4. I can place 5, right? So, these are excluded. So, the numbers excluded now are 5. So, I can place only 55 numbers here, right, which are from 5 to 59. And in the third position, there is no restriction. Now see what happens when I place 3. When I place 3, in that case, I cannot place, I can place 0. Right? Because 0 to 3 is a difference of 3. So I will not be able to place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But I can place 6, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So again, we get this combination 55 and 60, right? How far can we get this combination? Well, let's begin from the last possibility. Last is we could place 60 here, right? If I place 60, in that 
the exclusions will be that I cannot place 60. Number here cannot be 59, 58, but we can place 57. That gives you a difference of 3. So, 3 numbers cannot be placed, right? So, these are excluded. So, if you take away 3, you get 57 here and we get 60 there. With 59, the case will be what? I cannot place 59, but I cannot place 60 also, right? So, 59, 60, right? I cannot place 58, nor can I place 57. So, these numbers are excluded. Perfect. So, that means 56 numbers are possible, 4 are excluded, and 60, no restriction for the next one, right? So that means these combinations from one, from 2, 3 to 58, we could have this kind of combination. Is that clear to you? Now that should give you an idea of total number of combinations, right? So therefore, total number of combinations is what? Ah, we need to multiply these, right? We have to multiply all these to get total number of combinations. Perfect. So what we get here is there are two combinations which are with 57 and 60 and there are two combinations which are with 56 and 60 and then how many are left? 1, 2, 3, 4 are excluded out of 60 then we have 56 combinations with this group. Okay? So you could write that it is 2 times 57 times 60 plus 2 times 56 times 60 plus 56 times 55 combinations here. 55 times 60. Is it okay? So that should give you the final answer. Let's calculate this. You could also take 60 common and then multiply these terms, right? You could do that also. Anyway, let's multiply as written here. So we have 2 times 57 times 60 plus 2 times 56 times 60 plus 56 times. So we get all 60 combinations times, this time we have 55 times 60, right? So that gives you the answer, which is 198360. Is that clear to you? So that is how we can actually solve this question. I hope it makes sense. So we get our answer which is 198360. And that is how we can do it. So you can work case wise to find combinations in such cases. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write a comment, share your views, and let me thank you once again for posting this brilliant question. Thank you.